Welcome back for round two with my buddy Steve, and we're gonna talk a little bit about Steve. Where'd hey, the plexiglass go? Yeah, no enclosure on here. <laughs> well, non but well, we got something going on. We got a quill that we need to talk about. I just like the other machine. I see some flexibility between yep. auto and manual. Let's talk about it a little bit more. Yep. So you can you can do full programming. You know, just like on a machining center, it's three axis X Y Z. This one even has the A, so you can have the fourth axis. You can have your, your Z motion. We have 24 inches of Z travel. But if you're doing manual or repair type work, you can unlock the quill, do your, do your drilling with the quill. For me, I instantly think about, because we discuss this all the time with so many different machines and products, is real estate space. So yep. when I think about this immediately, I think, okay, I have both an automated machine and a manual machine all in one, so I don't need to stack them up side by side. I don't need two, so I'm saving mm -hmm. space for more Miltronic machines because right. we're selling Miltronic machines, right. right? That's the goal. So we want more Miltronic machines, and this allows us to do that that rework if we need to, yes. or that custom part if we need to, but have full automation. As you already said, you had that fourth axis on there. Yep. Yeah, so you can put a truck on the fourth axis, do shaft work. Since it's three axis, fully programmable, you can do thread milling with it. You need to repair some threads, put in inserts. Yeah. In case somebody, one person out of the millions, missed our last video where we talked about software yep. and the importance of your flexibility on the, it's so intuitive. Mm -hmm. Can we just quickly go sure. over the fact that this software from Miltronics is on all Miltronics machines? Yep, definitely. Yeah, so once you, once your program is created, this is a conversational program, just shows a lot of the, the basic features, but it lets you run it in a simulation mode so you can watch your tool path. Once you're done with your program, you hit preview. All your tools go through. You can slow the feed rate down just with your feed rate override knob to make sure the tool's doing what, what you intended it to do. You know, it's, for something like this to me, it saves time for the communication lag mm -hmm. that happens between a programmer and on the shop floor. Right. If it's something small and I can just knock it out or if I'm knowledgeable in the programming side and I can yep. just do it from the interface right here on the machine, make sure I'm doing everything, that to me is a benefit. I don't have yep. to waste the time sending it back, making sure it's queued up there, reading all the code that goes through the line. Right. We don't need to babysit it, right. put some pampers on it, right? We can do it all from the machine and yep. move quicker, especially when it comes to rework, which oftentimes needs to be done quicker. Right, and, and when you get the program, if you need to make an edit, you can do it right on the control. You can make sure it works right, verify it before you run it, yeah. Well, in the interview, you've made my life easy. And in the machine shop, you've made their life easy. Good so, deal. Absolutely appreciate you. Thank you so Thank much you. for hopping on camera. My friends, if you spent time with us today, time is the one thing we cannot manufacture more of. So if you shared precious time with us, we appreciate you and we'll see you again soon.